What's up, everybody? Ben Razzi here for Odd Chopper. I'm back. A little Wednesday action here, December 20th. We're getting to the holiday season, as we've talked about. There's no bowl games. We've got a little hiatus, even though they've been impossible to bet. Anyway, plenty of college basketball on the docket, and that's what we're doing here. Got a pick for you in the North Carolina-Oklahoma game tonight. First, I want to welcome you to Odd Chopper. All things betting from tools, most important part. To what we're doing here, talking about some picks, giving you some breakdowns, and then our Discord, we'll get into that in just a second. But if you're on this YouTube channel, if you've just found us, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, look around, see what you think. Uh, subscribe if you think it can help you. Uh, we want you as part of the team. Yesterday, Memphis helped us. That's what we need, some sweat-free wins. They really took control. They took it to Virginia at home. They're a strong team. Uh, it's a team to keep an eye on as we get later in this, in this season. We needed a win. We got a win. Now let's see if we can start building upon it uh, with North Carolina and Oklahoma. Let's get into this game. You can see, looking at the odds, you got two and a halfs and threes popping up. Uh, so certainly if you like Oklahoma, go find a three. If you like North Carolina like I do, go find a two and a half. Minus 112 over on FanDuel. Here we go. So first things first, the game, even though you see Oklahoma is the bottom team, don't get confused. They are not home. In fact, it's basically a, a true road game. The game's in Charlotte. So it's not in Chapel Hill, but at the same time, you know this is going to be a very, very pro North Carolina crowd. That's going to make a difference. That is a big positive for us. Now, I'm not going to say it's a tale or, or, or uh, two different teams, but it is in the sense that North Carolina has played just a murderer's row uh, of teams. There's no denying that. They've played a ton of a legitimate top-end talent already. Uh, so you see seven and three. That's not the worst start in the world. You know, they're coming off a couple straight losses to UConn and Kentucky. Those are really good teams. At North Carolina, we, we kind of know what they are. They've got Baycott on the inside. They've got Davis on the outside. They've got a couple of big transfers, uh, you know, Ingram in from Stanford. They're, they're running through those guys. Uh, they want to push the tempo, prolific offense. They're not the worst defense in the world, but that is their identity. And they're taking on an Oklahoma team who's got, I mean, an elite coach. There's no doubt uh, the architect of Loyola. He's there. He's turned them around. They're undefeated, which is a big surprise, I think, to everybody. Um, no one really expected that they are a 10 and 0 squad really defensively sound. Not that they're the worst offense. It's just probably kind of the, the di opposite dynamic of North Carolina where they rely on their defense. North Carolina relies on the offense. They haven't played nobody. I want to be clear. They've played some very quality teams. They smoked Providence, played Arkansas on a neutral floor, uh, USC, some of those type of teams. Not sure they've seen anyone quite like this. Certainly don't think they've seen an environment quite like this either. Not that it's a true road game, but it's close. Uh, I don't like the spot for Oklahoma. I've been kind of looking for the spot to short them a little bit. I've been on them. We were on them against Arkansas on this very video. That worked out nicely. I think this is a pretty bad spot for them. It's a nice buy low on North Carolina as well. You've got Baycott on the inside. Really can do a lot around the rim. Oklahoma's a type of team. You know, they're not a deadly three-point shooting team by any stretch. You know, they have guards that can really penetrate, that can get to the rim. I think that will be shut down. You know, if they shoot a crazy clip from three, we're going to lose. If North Carolina shoots a crazy clip from three, we're going to win. If it falls in the middle, I think most of those advantages go to North Carolina in this type of game. Again, they've got Baycott on the inside, Davis on the outside. A couple shooters that I'd like to see step up in a spot like this. But if they can get to the line, maybe break down the defense a little bit, they should win the battle of the boards. North Carolina is a deep, experienced team. Two and a half, I don't think will be here by tip. I want this number right now. Minus 112 is completely fine. Give me the Tar Heels tonight in a game. I don't think they're going to lose three straight. They look good, and they knock Oklahoma off from the ranks of the unbeatens tonight. Now, one pick in the books. Say it every time if you have questions. Anything I can help with at JazzRazDFS. But most of all, you can find me over on our Discord. It's part of Odd Chopper Premium. All these things are together. I'll just scroll very quickly. We've got our monthly and our weekly. You're getting all of it. We used to have all this stuff separate. We put it all together because we want all different types of betters in one community. That is our vision here. If you have not signed up, there it is. Look at me. I'm pointing to it. Expert picks, Discord, premium tools, all in one package. The link is below. For the holidays with bowl games, college basketball, NFL, NBA, you, it's now no better time to do it over Christmas. Try it out for a week. Like I said, get the Christmas week, see what you think. You can use my last name uh, at checkout. You'll save a little money. That never hurts anybody. But we would love for you guys to be part of the community. I've seen so many new faces. A lot of people really had some some fun and some success, and that's that really makes me happy. I love to see it. But let's have some success with North Carolina tonight. Stack another win in the college basketball streets. 
as always, enjoy your Wednesday. Hope everything is ready to go for your holiday season. And let's go Tar Heels for me, for North Carolina, and for all of you guys. Just have a great day ahead. Enjoy. Tomorrow we'll talk a little Thursday night football. Same time, same place.